the actual telecoms costs are low, particularly to landlines, and they're getting lower. Um, the, the other main cost is, of course, paying the call centre operatives who actually have to make the calls. And uh, very often, as you're probably aware, those people are outside the UK and uh, they're not well paid jobs even in the UK. So yes, it's cheap. Um, of course, it's people who respond positively to the call who make it effective or otherwise. So we've all got a share of the responsibility in making it not worth their while to make those calls. automated calls, that's where you just hear a recorded announcement when you pick up the phone and um, text messages are illegal unless you've opted into them. Um, then cold calling for marketing is illegal if you've put your number on the register which says uh, I don't want to receive these calls and something like 80% of UK fixed lines are on that register now. So most of them are already forbidden and it's just a question of the authorities who are responsible for enforcing these laws being able to go after all the, the people who make them. Um, that, that's a very big job. There are things that can be done at a technical level, either in networks or in um, customers' own homes, on their own phones, to block the calls. And I think that's an approach which we need to make more of, partly because enforcement is never going to be fully effective. There's just too many people making the calls for the authorities to be able to go after them all. If I were to pick one key action that is missing and that I think a lot of people would like to see pursued, it's the provision of call blocking equipment free of charge or heavily subsidised to vulnerable people, particularly with uh, possibly incipient dementia or conditions like that, who are very much upset by unwanted calls and suffer possibly from scams and, and altogether are much more damaged by them than the average person. For most of us, they are just a nuisance, but for some people it's much worse than that. And in my view, as a society, we owe it to these people to actually do something. <laughs>